Good evening and thanks for joining us. No major surprises. It was Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanuman's sixth and possibly final State of the City address. He says while the city faces a shortfall going into this year, he plans to deliver a balanced budget to the City Council next Monday. He chose tonight to focus instead on possible solutions to the economic challenges ahead. KITV4's Catherine Cruz joins us with more in tonight's top story. Catherine? Well, Paula, one thing the mayor did talk about was jobs, and in particular, a new development on the labor front. The deal is between all the county mayors and the union that represents blue-collar workers, but it still needs the governor's okay. In his address, Hanneman credits the coalition of mayors for breaking the logjam with the union. We believe the state will find this to be a reasonable settlement that reflects, and here's the key, the most recent position that the governor communicated to us. And we're optimistic the employees will approve the terms. The United Public Workers Union represents an estimated 10,000 city and state workers who, among other things, deal with the city's trash and the state's prisons. The mayor declined to give details about the deal, saying only it's similar to what was agreed to with HGA, the state's largest government union. The only difference is the number of furlough days. HGA agreed to 18 days the first year and 24 days the second. The tentative deal is good news if it moves negotiators off the impasse. I just hope that it's uh, good enough uh, for um, uh, the governor and her administration so that we can move forward. Basically, everyone in city government is going to end up with a pay cut. It's just going to be a matter of whether they're furloughed or it's a straight percentage cut. Uh, but everyone's going to have to share that burden in the same way that all the taxpayers are going to have to share in that as well. Again, but it needs to be done equitably. Everybody wishes that we should have, we could have uh, done this sooner rather than later, but, you know, we got an agreement. The mayor also said tonight that in addition to the 5% pay cut that his cabinet members agreed to, other city employees not represented by a union have agreed to have their salary slashed by the same amount. Now, the governor did stress the city's rail project will create new jobs, putting 4,000 people back to work immediately and creating an average of 10,000 jobs a year. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.